Good morning. Look at her in her usual spot, Sam Freddy. Say good morning. Say I have recovered nicely from the vet. She didn't have any reaction to her shot. Yeah? Tell me. You gonna eat? Um, I thought I would I try to wait until after she eats before I start filming her. But we have to go to my son's college today to get him used to the campus and there's some final things we have to do. <clears throat> and I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film. Plus, this evening, I want to try to put them back together, uh, Genji and her. And yesterday, I had like 30 minutes of footage that I edited down to 10 minutes for today. And I don't want to do that again. <laughs> so... Um, I'm just going to get her a little bit before we leave, and then tonight, when I put them together. Okay, other than that, we did really good, and she actually, since we've gone to the vet, has been more active and playful. So, I think just getting her out of her routine of staying in here has helped, and when I get home, I'm just going to probably open the door and leave it open and see how it goes. Okay, can you tell everybody bye? Okay, I'll see you this afternoon. This cat has become a food snob. Look at that. She's eating more of her dry than her wet, which she never does. And I figured out it's because she doesn't like this kind of wet food. And she was already a food snob because when she ate outside, she wouldn't eat pate. She would only eat like the shreds and the bits. And all the other outside cats, I make pate. It's just because it normally comes in, like, the bigger cans, and it's really, it's because it's cheaper. Um, but that's how she came to start eating beside me, is I noticed she wouldn't eat the wet food, so I started making her a plate of the other, and I would put it on the bench that I sat on, and she would come and eat it, and eventually she would let me sit on the bench. So that's actually how we got to be, um close but now look I had to give her a different kind of the wet food um and now she's eating it just, she, she's a food snob already she should just be happy but no no oh no be nice be nice look be nice be nice no hissing. No hissing. Okay, they are not tolerating each other. Like, now they're both hissing at each other. So, now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to... I'm giving them both catnip. Now, it doesn't normally do anything to Genji. But, he, I don't really think, has much of a problem with her. So I'm giving it to her, and then what I'm going to do is when she settles down, I'm going to put Genji in this room for a while and let her come out into the house. And I'll shut the door and, you know, make Genji stay in here for a while. Okay, she just came out of the bathroom and realized her door is shut, but she doesn't know where Genji is, and it's like flipping her out. He's alright. He's not out here. Okay, so far she's just exploring. She's up where Genji sits in the window. She hasn't got on his box yet. And yes, I know. I have a huge, giant box in my living room. I know it's ridiculous. But he loves it. How are you doing? You okay? You looking out the window? I was worried. I went out the front door because Scorch and Darkness got into another fight. And I was really worried because she was in here by herself. Because I put the dogs up too. Um, that she would try to get out the door. Because that's the door that we come in and out. Like when she went to the vet and when I brought her in. And I was really worried. But she didn't. And she didn't even go to the door like she wanted to. See, she keeps going to all the doors and meowing. 
What is it? What is it? And I really thought she just didn't care about going outside because she doesn't act like it. When she's in that room, she's just as content as could be. But look, she keeps... What? What? Okay, I think I'm going to put her back in the room for tonight. She just... She just won't play and she's not happy. So, and she keeps going to the doors and meowing.